hello guys uh, welcome to tech design uh, thanks for subscribing and uh, joining to my community so too many requests i have been receiving through my email id as well as in the comment section saying um, remastering videos so what i will do is i'll just uh, start creating uh, remastering videos uh, for uh, as per your request so you can check the playlist available in my youtube channel so that i will upload all the remastering videos in one place itself so what I will do is I will just take um, basic examples initially so that we can understand uh, better. So first I will take basics and then let us move to the medium and then some advanced components as well. So in this uh, tutorial what I will do is I will just uh, take a simple bracket over here. This I am just going to do the remastering. As you can see this is completely uh, very simple. So what I will do is you can see here this is a body complete body and it is not having any features yeah, and we need to make this uh, as a parametric modeling so first of all uh, what you can do is you can just uh, create a plane and uh, let us create three planes on it is a must you can just create uh, three planes uh, in um, along three coordinate systems so uh, as you can see here i have uh, three planes on this uh, model so what i will do is um, let me go into the sketcher environment now let me go into the sketcher environment here is the sketch and I'm just going to select this plane uh, which I have uh, created here okay and click OK So now we are into a uh, sketcher environment so what i have to do is i have to project a curve so let me go into the project curve and you can just project the outside uh, lines as you can see here instead of selecting the face uh, let us select uh, single curve and these are the curves that i am going to project so once you project the curve you need to um, you know uh, constrain them so before projecting what you have to do is in the project just remove this associativity so that you will get uh, exact curve which is not having any associativity with the parent model so let's click ok now you can see here this uh, sketch is available let us orient into sketch and i'll just hide this body now yeah, as you can see here this is the outer uh, you know sketch so what i will do is i'll just extend this so let us create a, a line here and extend this as well as extend this now you can trim the extra portion so we got this uh, you know slot kind of uh, sketch so if you want you can just give the constraint for this so as of now I'm just giving it uh, leaving it is as it is so I'll just finish the sketch so this is our uh, first sketch let me show this and we have to you know extrude this uh, sketch now so let us go to extrude and select this sketch and what is the value of the sketch uh, the extrude length will be you know you can just uh, uh, give uh, by extending this or else if you want to measure it and give it properly so what you can do is you can just go to measure here and select the projected along this direction and my start point will be this sketch and my end point will be this face so what is the value the 22 is the value you can just click ok and this will be locked you cannot able to change it if you want to change it then you can just go here and make it as a constant and then you can change it let me give it as none and it is solid and click ok as you can see here our base part is ready now what i have to do is i want to 
you know make this projection the top one so uh, you can create a sketch uh, you can create a plane here and then you can um, make a projection otherwise i'll just uh, select the same plane on the bottom side and let me create a projection on the same plane as well so in this one what i will do is uh, go to project again and remove the associativity and select this single curves these are the outer curves so i'm just going to select this and click ok now as you can see here as soon as you click ok the projected curves will be generated on this uh, plane so let me finish this now i want this uh, sketch to be extended until here either you can extend it uh, from uh, the base or else you can extend it from this way this face so let me show you both so what i will do is i'll just select this and my projection will be from 0 to and again this i want to measure it let us go to measure and select this at direction and from this plane to this plane it is 28 and click ok and you have the projection so uh, this is the one way or else what you can do is you can just delete this and let us start and the, my start value uh, what i will do is this is my sketch and my start value will be from i would like to measure it so let us measure this my start point from this sketch to this whatever the distance is there this is my start point so from here it will start and on 28th mm it will stop this is the there are two ways you can do this and after doing this you can just uh, you know unite them just go to unite and select this extrude and this extrude click ok now it is a single body so as of now uh, when you are going to do uh, remastering or parametric modeling i always uh, request you to you know uh, make a model and then whatever the material extra is available you need to remove that uh, later so in this case uh, whatever the material we have to remove it from here and here as well we will take it in the end of the video so first let us uh, create whatever the extruded portions so in this case now we are left with only this so what i will do is i'll just um, create a plane which will intersect here so let me create a plane here at a distance and i'll just select this center plane now what i will do is i'll just uh, make sure that we have an interference so uh, we should have one plane which is passing through this wall so that we can take an intersection of that as you can see here now it is exactly you know, this is the one way uh, we can do or else you can just uh, remove this and you can make a sketch on this plane as well so let us go to sketch and select this plane click ok now you can see the outer uh, surface here let us project this go to project and select these lines do not select this uh, uh, inside curves which is a blend curves so we don't need that okay and click ok now we have this uh, you know sketch let us uh, close that uh, sketch now as you can see here uh, we just need to extend this so we have an option called make corner this is very useful uh, command when you are uh, making a sketch so now as you can see here the sketch is completed so now we have to extrude this so now let me show this body now my body my sketch is in, the, in between at the center so let us create 
create an extrude with a symmetric value. So I'll select this sketch. Let us choose zero and zero. Let us do this as a symmetric. And now what we have to do is again we have to uh, you know measure the distance. So my projection will be along this direction now. And my start point is this sketch. My end point is this. So 10 mm is the projection on each side. So let us give a symmetric value and 10 mm. So make it constant and then click OK. Now as you can see here, uh, all the portions of the body is done. Just we just need uh, to remove the material from whatever the extra material we are available with the uh, body. So what I will do is I'll just go to sketch again. So let me. Okay, sorry guys. Now I'll select this plane, bottom plane, and click OK. Now as you can see here, there is a one projection which we need to remove and or here as well. So for that, again go to projection and remove the associativity. And you need to select this curves in order to project. Okay. And again, I want to make this as well. So whatever the projection that you need, uh, just select them and later uh, we can hide the bodies and extend them the way we want. Okay, now we have this projection which is already closed and we need now this. So what I will do is I will just draw a line here and just extend it. Press E and extend these two. Now press T and trim it and finish the sketch. Now let us show them all. Okay. Before removing the material, let me you know uh, unite these two. So go to unite and select this unite and uh, this body. Click OK. Now I take an extrude and select this sketch. As you can see here, this is the one closed sketch and this is the another closed sketch. So let us extrude this and we have to remove it from the body. So go to subtract and it will automatically select the body and click OK. So now as you can see here this is uh, almost done. We are left with only some uh, edge blends which are available on the body. So what I will do is uh, before doing that uh, let me hide this body and now we need to measure the uh, you know the available edge blends so that uh, we can give it on to our body. So what I will do is uh, to measure the edge blends go to analysis and local radius so this you can select and point out on the radius and you will get a minimum radius here 3 mm so it means that this is a 3 mm and if you select here this is also 3 mm so these are all 3 mm everywhere it is i think it is okay this is also 3 mm this is also always you need to select the you know uh, uh, always you need to make sure uh, minimum radius is the one which we are looking for so click ok now we have to give 3 mm radius on uh, on this body let us show it now let us give 3 mm as a radius uh, on all the sides so go to the edge pins and let me give on these two faces first now we have this surface so let us give here Click apply. And here now. Click apply. Now we are left with this. So this is also 3 mm. Click apply. Now let us check what is left. So I think all the sides we had given uh, uh, edge blends. So this is how that uh, body looks after the remastering guys. So what you can do is uh, now just uh, you just need to make one sure about uh, one thing that is. So let me hide all the sketches. So sketches and planes. 
So once the remustering of the body is uh, completed, uh, you need to make sure uh, one thing that is uh, when uh, whatever the features that you have created uh, should not be dependent on this uh, body. So to make sure that you just need to delete this body. So when you delete this body, uh, there is no feature uh, that should not be uh, failed. So it should be as it is. So what I'll do is I'll just delete this and click OK. As you can see here, all my features are uh, as it is. They are not completely dependent on this body. So now you can just uh, save this model and uh, this is completely a parametric model now. Thank you guys. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as join my community. Thank you.